everyone. So this is just an appeal for our channel. Please support us because this channel is for charity. I'll show you. So today we are going to learn about biodegradation. So do you want to take a guess, Prisha? What is biodegradation? Mm, is it when, um, like, um, some stuff go into into the ground and and they turn into soil? Yes, you are correct. So biodegradation is a process, it's a chemical process in which materials are dissolved by bacteria and other biological elements. So let's take a look at this example. So if we take food material and we put it out into a decomposing bin, then uh, all the microorganisms will eat on it and they will turn it into compost. So why do you think it is important for anything to be biodegradable or ecological or environment friendly? Mm, I have no idea. I'll tell you. So that once they are disposed, they can turn back into elements found in the nature. So basically they don't pile up. But what do organisms need for it? So it's a very simple thing, they don't need much. They need light and heat which they get from sun and the ultraviolet rays from the sunlight. They need water which comes from rain and they need oxygen which is there in the air. So they make use of all these elements and they feed on the waste. So does everything decompose at the same rate? No. So all materials have different rate of decomposition and they biodegrade at different rates. So we have a few examples over here. Let's look at them. The core of an apple takes one to two months. Paper takes one to three months. Cardboard takes two months. Cotton clothes take five months and milk carton up to five years. No, they don't eat in different speed, but the speed in which they can eat. Like if you take for example, uh, if I give you something which is soft, like cotton candy or candy floss, you can eat that very quickly. But if I give you a slice of apple, you will take it will take some time for you to chew on it and then eat it, isn't it? So it's the same thing. Uh, microorganisms take different time to nibble on uh, different materials. So that is what decides the time of... So you can't actually see it nibble because... No, that, because they are micro. You can only see them through a microscope. You can't see them, uh, see them through your naked eyes. So uh, that, uh, they are so tiny. So obviously you cannot see them digesting anything. Do you know there are certain things which biodegrade in ages? So tin cans can take 50 to 100 years. Aluminium cans can take up to 200 years. Glass never dissolves. Plastic bags take 10 to 20 years and other kind of plastic stays for 400 years. Okay, mommy, so, so we shouldn't put it outside. We should put it in, in the recycling. Yes, correct. So all these things like cans and glasses and plastics, we shouldn't put them in the general waste. We should put them in the recycle bin separately. Okay. Mommy, can you give me some examples about dissolving and non-dissolving things? Sure, Prisha. While food and paper dissolve, plastic tins and cans don't dissolve and pile up. In the process of biodegradation, plastics release toxic gases in the air. They release toxic substances which are absorbed by the soil and water as well. So they cause air pollution, water pollution and soil pollution. 
that is why plastics are now being banned at many places isn't it Biodegradation. Bio today we are going to learn. Itlu pachu bol. Today we are going to learn about biodegradation. Today we are going to learn about biodegradation. What is biodegradation? Biodegradation. What is biodegradation? <laughs> <laughs> biodegradation. Biodegradation. Degradation. Degradation. Dor dor bolii jaye chhu. बायोडिग्रेडेशन 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 बायोडिग्रे